So we have uh, uh, registries of beneficial ownership for um, assets, for property. Mm -hmm. What we've got to try and do is make it possible for law enforcement to connect companies, individuals, and, and assets. Do you think we've got the framework now for connecting those three dots effectively? I think currently stands no. I think with this, some form of this legislation, I think we'll go a lot further. I do think we need to look at how we're uniquely identifying people. I think there is, in that case, an argument for bringing that ID process in-house so you have clarity around it. You can assign that identifier. That then gets used across all the panoply of data sets that law enforcement have in their possession to do that interconnectivity. Yeah. We do run the risk a little bit, I think is currently framed, of creating another sort of island which is, is a bit better connected, um, but probably isn't going to sit at the heart of the process and, like I say, be that effective first line of defence that the UK economy should have. So I, I want to just come back on um, some of what we've heard uh, companies house it feels like quite a lot of the activity the new functions might be outsourced in different ways and just to come back to the point that you were making i think mr townsend about what could and should be done in-house and whether in your view it's possible to do more in-house i'd be really appreciative of your view on that because it feels like there's a danger of it um, weakening the safeguards that we might want to to be bringing in the balance here between sort of speed and effectiveness. I think I think Companies House is fantastic at, at what it does now. It provides a really good service to quickly register a business. It's very easy to use. Um, they're good at that. They have for a very they, they have not had to do the kinds of things we are now sort of proposing that they should do in ever really. So to get from where they are today to this sort of high functioning, you know, all singing, all dancing uh, machine that perhaps we're proposing is going to be a long journey. So that there is that balance, I think, between achieving the objectives of this bill and the wider goals uh, for, for dealing with uh, corruption and countering kleptocracy that the UK has, we probably are going to have to look at some sort of transitional arrangement. But ultimately, we should have a much more aspirational and ambitious vision for what we want Companies House to be in five to ten years' time, put the resourcing in place and make sure there's the oversight and accountability to drive that forward and make it happen.